Welcome to Cheap Controls. On this YouTube channel, I make videos on things that I struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to go over page changing for the Nexion display. I'm going to show you how to do it in the display itself with a button, and I'm going to show you how to do it controlled through the Arduino. I'm going to break this up into a couple of videos so that I can get a little more advanced techniques but yet keep it under my 10 minute time frame. I'm going to open the Nexion display and start a new project. Okay, now we're going to build out the Nexion display. And up here in the page area, we're going to add a second page. And then if you look, this is the actual page number is the 0 and 1 over here, not the words page 0 and page 1. You could name this anything. We're going to call this zero. And we're going to call this one. And the reason I'm doing this is to make it clear later when we actually identify the page. So on each page we're going to add a, a text box and a button. And the button is just going to have the text go to zero because we're on page one now, so we're going to go to zero. And the text up here is just going to say what page we're on. Now we'll go to this page and add a text and a button. And this is going to say go to 1. And this is going to say 0. So now what we do is we have the button that's going to take us from page to page, and we have the text that shows us what page we're on. To make the change actually happen, you do it in by clicking on the button, doing a touch event. You could either do it on the touch or the release. We're going to use the touch. And all you do is you put the word page and the page you want it to go to. In this case, we're currently on zero. We want to go to one. Now if we go to compile, and it passed. So you can use the word one here. If we put the number one, and compile it, it also passes. You can define the page by the name or by the one. We'll go ahead and program this button now. Compile again. Now this time we're going to go ahead and debug it. One to zero, back to one. I'm going to go ahead and upload it to our display. I have it on this screen here. Okay, now if I tap on it, it goes to zero, goes to one. Oh, I'm sorry, I had that backwards. Go to one, go to zero. Let's exit out of here. And you can see on button one, we have go to page zero. On button zero, we have go to page one. And we're using two different methods to get there. Now we're going to switch to the Arduino code and try and make it switch by sending the page to the, from the Arduino to the Nexion display. What I have is I have a switch set up and it has plus three volts and ground. And I'm going to switch it over to pin number three. Okay, we have just an empty file to start with. I've called it tutorial 06A. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to have the initial pin, which is input three, which is pin three. I could refer to pin 3 throughout the code, but I just thought it's easier to go ahead and give it a variable name. 
We're also going to have a variable called val or for value. We're going to start it equal to zero. And the only reason I'm doing that is to make the code a little clearer as I go through it. We're going to have to add, um, in order for the Arduino to talk to the next one, we'll use serial. We're going to run it at 9600 baud. You can run it faster, but 9600 baud is plenty fast for what we're doing. We have to set the, the mode of pin number 3. And we're going to define it as input. And then in our code, we're just, I don't want to just write to this too fast. I want to see the change happen when I flip the switch. So we're going to put a five second delay. So every time it runs through this, it'll, it'll pause for five seconds and then it'll run. And what we're going to do is we're going to read the value that's on that pin we configured. And then we're just going to test that value. And if the value is 0, then we want page 0 to display. And remember that at the after we sent the print, we always have to then serial write the, the hex character FF. And we have to do that three times. And now what we're going to do, so when I flip the switch, it's going to take the input from 0 to 3.3 .3 volts, because I'm using the 3.3 .3 volt input. I could use the 5 volt input. It would act the same. And then when it reads that, it's going to read it as a value of 1. So we're going to put an else in here. I could put else if val equal equal 1, but I pretty much, if it equals 0, do this. Any other time, do what I'm going to put next. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put the word 1 in. If you remember right on the next display, we have 1 up here for the name of it. Now this is actually the first time I have not, I did not run through a test on this. I'm, I'm not sure if, if it'll work this way. I'm, 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 I have done the page with the 0 in it, referring to the ID of the of the actual page. I've never done it with the text, so I want to give it a shot. So every five seconds it's going to read the input pin and then it's going to write it out to the next display. I'm going to go ahead and compile this first. And I'm shocked. I got it right the first time. I can't believe I typed in this all of this without messing up one character string somewhere. Make sure I got the right board and I've got the right port. Looks right. So now we can go ahead and upload. And it may change initially. No, because it's on zero. And well, it depends on where my where my switch is. I'm not 100% sure which position my switch is in. Nope, it's done uploading and it's stuck. So, well, oh, I've got to uh, hook up the uh, the write pin or the receive pin from the nection to the transmit pin on the Arduino. And I don't know if this will pick up in the video, but this um, go to zero is flashing which lets me know that I probably have my the, the switch flipped in a way that's causing it to go to 1. I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch. And there, and it went to 0. So you can see that it, it does work um, doing this, but there's a flash, and what's happening is every 5 seconds, even if it's already on the right page, it still forces it to go to the right page. And that's why I want to go ahead and do another video on this to show how to read what the page currently is, either in the Arduino or maybe send the value of the current page from the Nexion, so that if it's already set correctly, you don't send it. But that's a video for another day. And I just remembered 
that I was doing a test on the page one. So let's make sure that it goes back to one. And it does. So you can send, when you send the word page, followed by either this identifier here or by whatever you label it. I kind of like using the labels better and now I'm really happy to know I can send it from the Arduino because instead of having it zero based I could rename this to one and this to two and that would make more sense logically in the page numbering and then just refer to them as one and two rather than zero and one. I hope that that makes sense. I'm not sure if you understand zero based or not. I assume most people in coding do. Well that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.